I'm here with Randy Taylor, a friend of mine. Again, we met at the World Fly Fishing Championships in 1999 in Australia. We're up at the Payne River Lodge here with Arctic Adventures, and uh, we're fishing for Arctic char. And Randy's developed some excellent patterns and uh, uh, for catching these char, and he's going to show us uh, some of them today. One I know is a pattern that's been around for a while that, uh, that you like to use for this, and it's, I think it's called the double bunny. So Randy's going to tie that for us here today. Yeah, this is not my fly. No. This has this been around a while, but it is very effective up here. And uh, it's a very simple tie, which is important with these, with these char because they are hard on flies, so you don't want them to be too time consuming. Size six, Hannock 900 hooks, black dot thread, black and olive rabbit sonker strips. Number seven, contact cement. Jungle cock. Okay, to start with the double bunny, uh, I've got an H900BL Hannock hook, which is a very good barbless hook. Um, and it's, we found it to be great and strong for these uh, char. Uh, so you start with pinching uh, about two inches down a, a, a rabbit strip. And try to get it right in the center, which isn't always easy. And then, so you've pierced it, and this will form the bottom of your of your double bunny. And then you can put it in the vise. Now, add your thread, just using a dot thread, regular uh, uni thread. Now you you want a good base of uh, thread on here, and of course, you don't want to do, to uh, catch the uh, um, the rabbit's fur, which I've already managed to do. But so get, you can put on a good base of. Uh, the black thread, clip that off, okay, pull this tight, like that, bring your thread up to the front, and then tie off, well, it should be easier to cut first, cut right at the eye, and now you can benefit of a rotary vise you can flip it over and now you've tied on your your first half of the double bunny now you just find a similar length fly should be about this one might be a little bit short but fly should be about three and a half to four inches long here because it imitates the uh, the uh, sand lance which is a long thin minnow so now you just tie on black top on the one thing is double bunnies, they can come in any sorts of colors. Olive and black is very popular, but also tan, you name it. But they all have black on the top. So make a good robust head. Don't, don't worry about having a tiny pretty head because the char will make short work of that. And now it's time to put on glue. I'm just using regular contact cement. And you just apply that to the bottom. And again to the top. And the best thing to do is to let it dry so that it's clear um, before you put it together. But uh, we'll just, for the sake of television, we'll just put it together now. Press it together like that. And then, of course, add jungle cock, which again, I suspect adds no, uh, no efficiency to the fly, but rather it looks nice. So. That's why we do it. And again, don't worry about uh, tying them on. What, I, what I'll normally do with the jungle cock is I'll, uh, I'll lash it on and then flip it back so that uh, it's on good and tight and it won't, it won't slide out. Well, eventually it will slide out because the char are really hard on these flies, like I say, but it should last you in quite a few fish. And there's your double bunny. To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca. And if you'd like to book an adventure like this one shown, Head to ontheflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.